hello, hello, everyone. Um, hello, wait hello. To, this is going to be the weirdest middle grade monthly live show ever, I believe. I just... Cheers I to don't that. Even know. Cheers to that. Cheers to that. Yeah, even, even Jade is drinking. Drinking cider. So, you know this is... Ugh. Anyway... Need something to loosen me up because all I feel about this book is just awkwardly dense. <laughs> <laughs> and I just feel barely anything. I feel like a void. I feel like a void of of like caring or anything like that. So I mean, obviously, we'll, we will go into this. We'll go into this in more detail very yeah. soon because I am so interested in maybe you know what, Jade. I think maybe some of the comments will help you understand your yeah. feelings on it as well that's what i'm hoping for yeah and... as i said to you before like my yeah. general thought is i didn't like it but i don't i can't don't pinpoint why. the why i just yeah. know that i didn't want to read it i was uh -huh. bored i wanted to put it down i sort of could have so easily put this book down and not thought twice about it yes you did <laughs> i did i did um so full disclaimer everyone I made it that far in. I, I, I read this much. I I just couldn't. I, I, I was forcing is, myself. Is this our first DNF of Middle Grade Monthly? Yeah. I forced yeah. myself through Murder Most Unladylike for you, and you couldn't even do this. You did. I know. I'm such a bitch. I'm such a bitch. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, I mean, my excuse is... No excuse, to be honest. <laughs> I don't have an excuse. Well, uh, my excuse is that actually, no, I I do have an excuse. I'm thirty next year. I'm thirty. That's my excuse. I feel like life is just slipping through yeah. my fingers. I'm, I'm yeah. gonna. I'm, 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 I'm looking at it. You're thirty next year. You don't have time to waste on books you're not enjoying. Exactly. <laughs> I literally don't. I'm in my last year of my twenties, and I didn't want to read this in, my, in the last year of my twenties. I want. I want to move on to bigger and better things. Uh, Amazing. Anyway, yeah, and that, that's my excuse. I just thought of it on the spot there. Uh, yeah, hello, everyone. Thank you so much, everyone, for coming in. I see a lot of people putting their ratings in. I will ask for ratings in just a sec because we do have a little bit uh, housekeeping. But I, I love the fact that people have been discussing this before we even start. I love that. Mm. Hello, hello. Um, first, oh, first Milk Way Monthly book and loved it. Oh, Lauren, I'm so glad you loved it. I am oh. interested to hear why. <laughs> we'll use our sass in this one. I feel like there's going to be a lot of sass because we both didn't like it. Also, yes, I needed to put clothes on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Jay just came straight on. And I was just like, whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm joking. Yeah, I just I'm came on in my pants. I was like, do I have time to put clothes on? Okay. <laughs> And if I had said no, like we would have had an, like I mean, a naked Jade. Just first go live there. I could have, I could have. I mean, I'll have, yeah, I would have. That would have been a betrayal. But I mean, it would have, it would have been good views. It would have been good views for the men's. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for joining. And also, if this is your first middle grade monthly, usually we do love the middle grade monthly books. Like usually. I feel like it's usually we, it's more of a hit than a miss and every now and then we have a miss okay this, this is just one of these months unfortunately like january january was a big miss for us <laughs> but fortunately big miss. We, we we had the same thoughts on that though like we when we don't like a book i feel like we both have similar thoughts on it or like yeah like wait yeah i i know what i'm thinking in my head yeah good <laughs> <laughs> Nobody else knows, but I know. Um, listening, to, well, I didn't even realize it was an audio book. Otherwise, I would have like maybe I finished don't it. Think the audio book's available in the UK. Why? That makes me hate it even more. <laughs> yeah. Story was too long. Uh, okay, so before we like ask like too much like for opinions, yeah. should we talk about what next month's book is? Yes. 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 Oh yeah, I've got it. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> Three, two, one, go. <laughs> As if it's some big secret and we didn't announce it three months ago. I know, right? Like this is the worst kept secret on BookTube. <laughs> Wait, 
we um have decided to pick a really i mean jay this is your would this, this be no would of... be i was gonna say it's not your first ever middle grade contemporary because i feel like you've read like middle grade mysteries that have been contemporary but well, if you count middle grade mysteries then yeah like the yeah. highland falcon thief sort of thing then yeah um but uh I'm I'm not big into contemporary folks. This is gonna be telling. <laughs> it is gonna be telling. And also like the fact that I've already read it and loved it, I'm terrified for June's live show for <laughs> me my dad in the end of the rainbow. Cause I know I'm just gonna be listing all the reasons I love it. And like I I, I will give like obviously like Jade some leeway because this is not Jade's taste. And Jade was kind yeah. enough, kind enough to allow us to do this like for, for yeah, one night in only the chat, i remember you and chris being like oh but it's a contemporary and we don't want to do that to jade and i was like you know what guys i'll take it it's fine yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah and that was just a monumental moment for us it was oh um so the book is called me my dad and the end of the rainbow by benjamin dean and i it is it is all like announced on a lot of social platforms we have like the banners and stuff so that is june and we've also announced july august and september but i haven't got them on hand so i can't say what they are um no, but them either. <laughs> yeah me neither but uh yeah and it will of course if it's whatever a thon it's the if any book can fit whatever a thon it's this one because it's queer it's middle grade it, it's it out has, of it literally well. has a pride, pride. Well. yeah it's pride colors uh it's or the the text is orange the text yeah. is orange you know so it just fits oh yeah there is yeah you're right um and it's out of jade's comfort zone so honestly we're gonna get fifteen thousand points from this book alone everyone that reads this book gets quadruple points yes so do it rule but as your monarchs do we do we give them a taster Oh, should you we? Do is it accessible for you? It's like right just there. Mine's just there. Oh, okay, yeah, let, let, yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, let's do it. Right, be right back. <laughs> right, I'm ready. Yeah, I'm oh, ready. Oh. <laughs> I nearly fell. <laughs> okay, I'm ready. Right. Let, let's show. Hey. Oh. oh look at us being regal bitches <laughs> oh sorry this this is a middle grade sorry. we are regal witches <laughs> regal witches that's what i said that's we what I said. are we're regal. monarchs we're happy to mm -hmm. be here <laughs> always happy to be here and if anybody here is not in the middle grade monarchs off with your head off with your head yeah <laughs> <I'm> awful <laughs> <laughs> uh, well i love that i mean I, I can keep mine on for a little bit longer as well actually um we'll continue it off later it's, it's comfortable yeah mine's uh, a little bit more of a balancing act like yours is actually is like Zara, isn't it mine's actually like balanced on my head yeah what with yeah. mine it's like that so it just yeah. it just presses in and it does get uncomfortable after it like presses in for a while but for now it just it, it's perfect it's there yeah. it's a list Whereas mine yeah, is actually yeah. like full circle crown. Oh wow! <laughs> so, like, oh my gosh! Sit. <laughs> That's such a good crown, though. That is such a beautiful crown. Oh my god! I need one. Fifteen <laughs> <laughs> quid off Amazon. <laughs> there we go. There's the link. <laughs> oh, I I love how everyone loves it. I'm glad, guys. We are like, royalty. I... As your monarchs, you know, mm. it's, it's only right that you see us in all our glory. Exactly, exactly. Um, so classy, always classy. Team Jade and Gavin, that's yeah, what. Pass it up a little more, Jin Jin. <laughs> and you know what? It's all just going to go downhill from here because when we start talking about the book, it's not going to be all. Um, yeah, I, I see Epic and High in the chat, and I'm just like, no, I choose not to say it. Mm -mm. I think mine was from Amazon as well, actually. Um, yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, Oh gosh, we're like 10 minutes in actually. Um, wow. Should we, yeah, sorry guys. Uh, should we start talking about the book then? Um, mm -hmm. Tristan Strong, Punch a Hole in the Sky by Kwame Barley. Now, it's... actually, Punch a Hole in the Sky. 
No, he punches a hole in a tree, but there is a hole in the sky, and I'm just like, huh. Yeah, but he didn't punch that misleading. No. It, yeah, like, that's why I feel like this should be called Tristan Strong punches a hole in a tree, which I know, like, it doesn't bring, like, roll off the tongue or anything, but it would make, it, it, that's what it is. That is what it is. At least me and my dad in the end of the rainbow, it makes sense. <laughs> But that it just doesn't. So everyone, let me know what your rating was in the chat because I mean I could go all the way back to the start and find that. But let let's start fresh. Let's That's start fresh. Yeah. Uh, pull up my core pile. Actually. Oh, I haven't even done my core pile yet, so I'm gonna have to do that. Um, you but it, is there any point? <laughs> I know because it is a DNF, but I do want to make sure that I can. Yeah, I mean, I'll leave it for now because I'm not too sure. But uh, yeah, initial thoughts. Um, first time here, I liked the book a lot. Audiobook sucked for me. Ooh, authors say the book was written for kids who needed someone who looks like them as a hero, would have loved this book as a kid. Yeah. That is very, very true. Um, what's the, uh, punches all in the tree that creates a hole in the sky. I think it's like the sky is, is it in mid pass? Yeah, yeah. So he basically punches a, portal like he punches a hole in a tree which causes a hole in the sky and that is then like, like a, a portal yeah like a chasm so this should be called tristan strong punches a hole in a tree which causes a hole in the sky that's what it should be called yeah. Yeah. <laughs> i love that name <laughs> can you imagine trying to fit it in that in yeah cell on 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 core pile <laughs> um yeah uh, DNF at 16%, four stars, I loved it, three stars, solid 4.5, 3.5, I've just struggling with the start, five stars, loved it, DNF 218 pages, DNF four, didn't we've even We've never start. had this many DNFs, we've never had this. Oh, this much, like, split opinion, like, it's so yeah. split. Uh, well, five. Last month was pretty split with the like four fives versus like two threes. This is that's true. A different ball game entirely. This is yeah, th a lot of DNFs. Like even with the Witch yeah. Boy, which I did end up finding a little bit boring, and I yeah. couldn't really get into it. Even that one, I still like. You still finished it. I still finished it. <laughs> <laughs> We're not going to let that go. <laughs> uh, are three stars mostly due to a very annoying character? I'd like to know. Well, I mean, I, we'll talk about that I during characters. Who that is. I think I can as well. Should we say it after three? Yeah. Three, two, one. Gum baby. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Uh, five stars. Love the audiobook. Uh, not going to do an effort, but wasn't gripping me as much as I thought it would. Hadn't read it. Just have the tea. I mean, yeah. I, I, fair but also like i again like i even i can't really pinpoint why i yeah. felt like i was struggling but I, I mean there are reasons i feel like there are reasons and i'll talk them through but it's never stopped me from reading a book before because i feel like the problems i have are problems i've had with other books but i've still read them all the way through and there's just something that i just couldn't i just couldn't continue um unfortunately didn't love it found some of the characters a bit annoying and then the pacing was just odd yeah yeah <laughs> four star didn't even bother to start after seeing jane and gab's reactions Fair. sorry uh, just also oh, awesome. yeah you're welcome yeah we've saved it. but then again at the same time not because you could end up loving it danny you know you just never know uh so confused around couldn't visualize a thing okay this is also something i i had a problem with yeah um love gun baby um yes <laughs> yeah we were right uh gum oh, well we ha we do have some love for gum baby to be fair hated gum baby see this is the thing i feel like people who might love this book loved gum baby but if you hate it i feel like gum baby is a bit of a character who's probably made it definitely can drive opinions yeah. yeah especially since from what i read gum baby was quite a, a dominating presence and it doesn't like, change she's oh, like okay. the whole time <laughs> oh god like oh. i just i i find it really hard to like when a, a character is introduced so obnoxiously like straight away i cannot i can't change my opinion on them um mm. i mean i try but i just can't and as funny as some of uh gun baby's one-liners are sometimes i just i find myself rolling my eyes instead and i was just like 
And okay. I think and some I, of the things that Gun Baby said, like, was funny the first time, but then mm. I'd like use it as a crutch for Gun Baby to be humorous and just repeat like the same lines and nicknames and puns, and it just got old real quick. Fair, fair. I uh, haven't finished it yet, forgot to read it and was afraid because you're the host and like it. But I will finish it. But between two and three stars in the moment, the story is just as bad as Arusha. <gasps> oh my God. This is. <gasps> oh, oh. <laughs> that one is wounded. <laughs> I, 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 well, I mean, first, Jade gave me a heart attack when she came onto the live, by the way. So I'm still recovering from, from that. Uh, <laughs> I'm very. I'm a little bit fragile, yeah. But um, oh my gosh, I I I loved Arusha. I mean, I definitely think the series got better as it went on for Arusha. Um, and you know what? Actually, I was going to compare this to Arusha and Sal and Gabby Break the Universe, and I was going to compare yeah. pacing and character. Like that's what I was going to do later on, because there's things that about Arusha that I really liked the way Roshni Chokshi did it, whereas I felt in this it was done too rapidly. But I can I can talk about that here, but uh, oh oh, I don't worry. I I, I I still like you. Don't worry. I still like you. <laughs> Just said Michael after three because I know none of the characters, and that was the first name that came to mind. Michael. Yeah, annoying Michael. character. Michael. Michael. Gavin. I mean, you know, it just comes to mind. What was the other really annoying character's name? Do we ever know his name, or is he literally just called Grandad? Um, maybe just Grandad. Maybe it's very close to the start, right? Very close to the start. Grandad, yeah, just I just called Grandad. Just Grandad. Yeah. Well, Grandad was also very annoying. <laughs> also, my crown is a bit annoying, so I'm going to take it off now. <laughs> ah. <laughs> <laughs> um, the voice How of you to survive wearing it through all sprints? Uh, <laughs> the the magic of green screen. I'll just put a green screen behind me and put a crown on the green screen, Perfect. and then just. I don't know if that really works for Streamyard. We could always give it a try. <laughs> I can imagine. I can imagine the audiobook can really change in someone's mind on it. It's a bit like the Wizards of Wands. You know, I like how the audiobook of that was so brilliantly done. Like maybe that would have swayed opinion, but then again, it could have made it worse because I mean, yeah, the, the voice for Gun Baby is amazing. Like if you find it amazing, but what if I found the voice annoying? Like was it high, was it high? I picture it as a high pitched voice, like a very squeaky high pitched voice from Gun Baby. I don't know how you pictured Gun I, Baby, but. I saw someone else liken Gun Baby to Mr. T. And I kind of heard it a little bit more like Mr. T, but slightly more feminine. <laughs> ah, fair. But that's actually, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, now, you, now you mention it, I can't get it out of my head. Uh, <laughs> law, law three, last quarter was what brought it up. Say, if I made it the last quarter, maybe I would have, well, I, well, one, I would have finished it because I would have made it to the last quarter. But two, maybe my rating would have, I, I don't have a rating for it, though. But I, I'll, 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 it, so. I didn't finish it. I didn't finish Infinity Reap, and I still gave that one a freaking low rate, and I swear to God. Um, but that one I just loathed entirely, whereas this one, I feel like maybe I could come back to it at some point. Anyway, sorry. Um, to do, okay, so are we talk? should we, how should we do this? Should we talk about characters first, or should we talk about our overall thoughts first? Um overall thoughts first because i think as we discuss our overall thoughts are going to develop because i feel like currently our overall thoughts are a bit sparse yes true true mine so, are definitely yeah my overall thoughts are that i was incredibly bored um i my intrigue was so low i could have very easily put this down at any point and not cared if i picked it back up again um, the only reason I didn't DNF it was because it was for middle grade monthly. <laughs> Otherwise, mm. I would have. Um, if I'd I known have said. DNFing it, I probably would have DNFed it. <laughs> well, I tried so hard to read it yesterday. Because um, I, I could have probably finished it yesterday and today. Um, but I was at work today and I just I didn't make any progress yesterday. And I was like, I've got no option. I've got no option. It's going to be a DNF. <laughs> 
Um, super specific lessons. So this was a book that included lessons taught by parents and grandparents. You know, um, I might talk about this more during pacing, but um, I definitely think like grief and um, like what Tristan was feeling at the start could have been so well developed. But this book, like my overall thoughts of it so far was that everything was happening far too quickly. So we moved from Tristan exploring his grief of losing his friend and going to his granddad and grandma's farm. Like I wish we spent a little bit more time with that because then we're just thrust into, you know, the uh, mid pass and um, we had so much happening at once, like too much at once that there was lots happening, but I was bored because I couldn't picture it i couldn't picture it and i think a lot of that is due to the narrator like there were some points when tristan would like he can't explain things very well which i guess is fair because you know he's, he's a child protagonist but like when you have this incredibly vast and rich like mythological place i'd want that to at least be described in a way that i like i i'm new to this kind of mythology so like kind of to ease me into it but Tristan would make a joke or he would faint or he would fade to black and there wouldn't be any more like description I guess is why I'm kind of saying like I couldn't picture anything so I got bored even though a lot was happening and things were happening too fast that mm -hmm. was my that that's my initial thought you picked um, up on the narrator there and I think one of the big reasons that I didn't care it's because the narrator didn't make me care. The narrator was trying so hard to come across as casual and chatty and easy breezy yes. sort of narrator. But what he was narrating was not casual. Um, you're narrating some serious grief here and I don't feel any of it because the way you're just brushing things off so casually. You're going to this incredible mythological place and you're just chatting about it so casually and so like eh. yeah. like it was yeah. too too casual of a narrator for the intensity that it should have called for you're right yeah yeah a hundred percent especially when you have a world like this so if i compared this to amari the night brothers for instance mm -hmm. like amari she came into this whole new world herself so obviously like she didn't know what was going on so like they're both two protagonists coming into a new world yeah. and they're describing it to us almost and with Amari I could picture it all I could sense it all and she was a little bit casual because she was very fun and you know she's pretty much the same age as Tristan but yeah. I don't know like, there was something about Amari that was more I don't know like endearing or like it, it helped me it helped guide me into that world whereas this one is a more complex world because it does involve mythology and I need to kind of have my, have my hand held into that kind of world. And as you said, it was far too casual. Like this is a- I want to play devil's advocate a little bit here. Um, yeah. Cause I, I didn't like it. That's very clear, but I'm gonna try and see this from another perspective. Um, the reason we couldn't see it and couldn't understand it is perhaps because it is a mythology that we are new to. Um, Whereas, and is that a cultural thing? Like this is African mythology. We're not yeah. well taught in that. Whereas things like Greek mythology, we know so much more about. Is it a cultural difference? Like I kept in my head thinking Percy Jackson and thinking it reads very much like Percy Jackson, but I enjoyed Percy Jackson so much more. Oh yeah. <laughs> but is that the cultural difference of I know that mythology, that's the sort of mythology that's shoved down our throats a lot. Whereas this isn't, and because we don't know it, we feel like it doesn't explain it enough to us. But neither do those other books that we just already have a background knowledge of. So is it an us thing rather than a book thing? That's, yeah, that's very true actually. Cause I do think I just had, I didn't have very much of a clue um, with it, but also like say for Arushar as well, for an example, that deals with Hindu mythology. And I'm not familiar with Hindu mythology either, but I still think like Roshni um, as a, a writer and Aru as a narrator or seeing it through Aru's perspective and eyes I f I still felt like I understood Aru way more and I and, but that you know what that is to do with it's to do with pacing in this book just if it had paced me into it I would have 
gotten it better and obviously i didn't finish it so i can't really speak too mm -hmm. much like it got better in understanding but it was too much too quick and maybe yes like you are right like we are like well i'm british anyway like well jade's british yeah. there is like that divide so if you are more familiar with all of this then i can imagine you would be more like into it from the very beginning whereas like for me and jade like I just, I, I needed a bit more help with it. And it just, it didn't help me. And this is a middle grade. This is like a children's book. So I feel like also other kids might not be quite familiar with it too, but I don't know. Like I'm just speaking as, as me. Um, yeah. I also love what Meryl says actually about the the um, characters. I felt like Gun Baby Sif is that annoying in a voice. Granddad says the voice of a generation that lived in the US where hard work. And all. Yeah, because isn't like when Tristan um wants to be well he loses his fight right and he feels so bad about it and his granddad is just when they first get to the farm the granddad wants to just get straight into doing labor and working and Tristan is just like a whole different thing like I wish I honestly do wish we spent more time with that it I think it was like is it like chapter three like chapter three is when gum baby no end of chapter two is when gum baby comes into it start chapter three and like that's two chapters that's that's not even 23 pages that's 23 pages of getting that backstory with tristan his granddad his grandma his family his dad eddie and it just went in a totally different direction by the yeah. time i day and day on page 188 there's a huge battle there's there's a wall and i'm like i can't care about this wall because i don't know the characters and the characters i do know have annoyed me Gum baby as an but although I do love Edna Edna Mode from The Incredibles. But like it just it, it tried to push this world on me without letting me have time to care about characters first and then care about what came next. That's yeah. <laughs> I totally get it though. I totally get it. Like, yeah, um I, I, I do love the fact that we had that generational divide there. I just wish we spent more time with that at the start. But then it just went zero well, really quick. I despised being with that granddad character. It made me so angry. And I think if we had spent more time with him and that attitude stayed like that, I would have DNF'd it because it just made me angry at that point. Yeah. So on that hand, I am glad that we didn't spend a lot of time with that character because I wanted him to leave. <laughs> but definitely we needed to spend more time with Tristan exploring his grief, exploring his beliefs and what he wants and how he feels and stuff because as a main character we should know that and we don't there is also because like by i literally did after right after this part but it's when um they're about to go into this battle and tristan wants to help and he's saying like he reveals so much of his feelings in exposition like in dialogue um and he's saying i'm trying to believe it wasn't my fault so i think i need to do this i want to help if you'll have me and he is saying this to iana iana um and it's like he has this huge like emotional weight in this character moment that gets said in dialogue 180 pages into it and like that's only how far it is i felt like the grief that he's feeling i know i'm saying like i wish it was explored more but like we have this moment that quickly where he is feeling um, like, how can I explain it? He explains how he's feeling too soon, if you know what I mean. I would have I would have loved it to have that, had more of that moment towards the end, which I didn't but get I to. I think a bigger moment like that towards the end. He does reveal some of his feelings to that female. I can't remember her name. What was it? Ayana or something? Ayana, yeah. Ayana, yeah. He reveals some of his feelings to her a little earlier, but I think towards the end, um, there is <coughs> something bigger that happens where he explores his emotions a lot deeper, um, okay. which is why I feel what Jess is saying here with towards the end, it was a bit emotional, like therapy session, it really was towards the end and he got some good advice on handling grief and some of his emotions really did come to surface there. Um, but because I hadn't cared until then, I still mm. didn't care, sadly. Fair. Fair. Um, Carrie could picture it all as someone who's read about some of the myths and folk tales before. 
that kind of backs up what I was saying earlier. Like maybe if it was something we were more familiar with, then the world yeah. wouldn't, wouldn't have felt as weak as it does. That's true. I still would have loved, I don't know, just easing into it. Cause like, mm. yeah, like we said this, what was it? Um, like if this is the only book that you read, um, to do with like this mythology, like you're introducing, like this is Kwame and Balia's own version of this story, his own like take on the the myths and legends that he is pulling from. So yeah. just to like at least ease into his version of it, rather than kind of having us to rely on our prior knowledge of it. I don't know. It's a bit like the Disney Twisted Tales, like. I would not be able to read any of them if I hadn't read any, like watched any of the Disney films beforehand. Yeah, yeah. it's like I, I want to be able to read this and uh, as its own thing, and that's I, 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 I totally get it. Though I should do more research into the mythology and all of that, but I, I feel like I shouldn't I, really I have to. That's something that you should have to do. I do agree. I just think it's worth noting in terms of the comparison. To as I say, in my mind, I kept comparing to Percy Jackson. You yeah. read Percy Jackson, right? I've read the first two. <laughs> That's good enough, as long as you yeah. read the first one. Yeah. The narration style is very similar. In fact, I think a lot of the structure of it is very similar. It's that casual first-person narration where Tristan or Percy kind of butts into the story to talk directly to you sometimes, and they have that casual tone, brush everything off. It's very similar, which is why I kept drawing them comparisons. And I kept thinking to myself, like, but I enjoyed reading Percy Jackson. And this is all of the ingredients of that, but a different mythology. I'm not enjoying this, but because I know that versus not knowing this, I just think it's important to recognise that in that comparison, it doesn't mean this book's necessarily bad. Maybe it just means that Percy Jackson wasn't as good as I thought it was. I just already had background knowledge. That's very interesting. Yeah, maybe maybe you're onto something there. Um, comparing Tristan and Aru, I think the mythology is poorly explained. I don't understand it. So irritating. Um, I mean, like I can't like speak for like other people's interpretation of like say like Aru or something. But if I'm comparing the two of them, um, again, like I I didn't have any previous knowledge previous knowledge of any mythology. But uh, like for me, at least Aru Shah didn't try to like bombard the reader with so much at once it was very for me it was paced out a bit better and you kind of it's just like Percy Jackson where he goes from place to place and he encounters something from each thing yeah. and and like it's her first experience of it so I felt like my first experience of it whereas this one I also feel like he accepted the world a bit too quickly and that yeah, also kind of threw me because his nana had told him all of these stories, oh, stories he yeah. a lot of it um whereas we weren't told them stories that his nana had told him so yeah that's a good point that's a good point uh marie's so amazing went off that book i was let down by the magical world building this week i guess yeah I, if we had read this after most suddenly do like or something we would have probably you loved it like yes <laughs> <laughs> best book in the world but um, <laughs> um yeah um throw the myths in and it was too much i mean i was really i was as i was reading it i was enjoying seeing some of it like i i love the idea of like the bone shifts and um another thing like, it just felt like a, a bit of a scary dangerous kind of world mm -hmm. but again it was just like too much too too fast for me um grew up with Brer rabbit and prayer i've never i'd never um yeah, uh, do, do agree with you, Jade. I uh, wonder how it would have felt if it was in third person. It would have given more opportunity for explanation. Yes, I totally think so. But I feel like most of the Rick Wright and Presents books are told in, in first person. So I don't know if this is just a, a thing. I, might, I mean, I might be wrong on that because I haven't read all of the Rick Wright and Presents books. But uh, I definitely think it would have benefited. In, in my opinion, like, obviously, I'm not telling another author how to write their own books. But, like, for me as a, as a reader, I would have preferred it because I would have seen the explanation. I, w I didn't want Tristan to faint before being able to explain a certain thing that was happening. Um, so, yeah. Uh, 
American and DNF did 50 pages, so I don't think that's true. I, I guess it really does depend on person to person then, like whether or not you're familiar with the, the tales yeah. or not. I do think um, the familiarity plays into that. Yeah, in Explore Mythology, I was less aware of. I mean, yeah, I mean, I I really like John Henry. Like, I honestly thought he were, he came into it and he was like, oh, he's the kind of, almost like a parental figure to Tristan that I feel like he really needed. Um, and I just liked him. I just felt an automatic liked him, probably because I just disliked Gun Baby from the very beginning. So as soon as like John came along, I was like, oh, I like, I like him because he's not annoying. Um, but yeah. Timing and Jade, casual feeling about the mythology. I felt the mythology was separate from the story. Not of, yeah, I mean, I wasn't too, like, I know the kind of goal for me uh, at this point where I was at was Tristan wants to get home. Um, that was the goal, but I didn't know how, I, I, I yeah, I, 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 I need more explanation. <laughs> um, I might, I might, you know, cause I, I'd love to read all the Rick Ryder Presents books. I might still try and finish it, but I might try and read it at a different time when maybe I feel more ready to read it. Cause I would still like to read the second book if I possibly could. Cause also apparently it's 200 pages less. Um, super fast paced, needed backstory to have a great, um, I mean, characters, what did you give characters for a core pile? If we're going to core pile it, um, characters, I gave a three. Oh, uh, I mean, I yes. I definitely. didn't care about any of them. I don't feel like I had any emotion for any of them. As I said, I could have very easily put this down without knowing what happened to any of them and been fine. Yeah, it just didn't make you want to. Like, I did feel disconnect from it, like the characters, hundred like, percent. I did like, I, I do like Tristan as a character. Like, I liked his sense of humor. I liked the way he interacted with other characters. I liked his, I liked his little kind of banner with Gun Baby every now and then. But um, yeah, I just as a narrator though, as a narrator, I just, yeah. I, 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 I couldn't, I couldn't get on board with him being the narrator and um, if it had been like i don't know like john henry is the narrator i probably would have loved it but uh, it, it, that would have been a totally different story um yeah. i feel like one was, of my I, main points about tristan comes more into play with logic um but i'll touch on it now um the fact that i do like a main character where things don't come easily to him um he because we all know from january's issues um i hate it when a main character is just like easy easy no consequence i know all of this easy peasy i really liked the fact that it was a struggle for him and he didn't know what was going on he didn't know if he could do it and he really did have to try um but that's not necessarily a character point it's not a character trait yeah. as it's a bit more of a logic point but that's probably my favorite thing about him is that he didn't know what he was doing yeah and he, yeah especially at the start because we start with him having lost the the fight and uh he comes from a long line of fighters and yeah, yeah. that was i i loved the way he was introduced i thought it was great and then obviously the sense that he wasn't strong enough to help his friend and save his best friend was also something that played into that like he has made mistakes and huge uh and he like well not mistakes because i don't think he's responsible for eddie's death i don't know if that ever come okay that but, comes up also, again. he's not okay phew that's that's good um but like he's definitely he isn't the he doesn't come across as the chosen one straight away which is great um so yeah story of him and his friends develops as the story goes on uh, Tristan hasn't come to terms with his feelings about his best friend. He blames himself. And yeah, I, I could totally feel that. And yeah. that's definitely... And yeah, thank you for the recommendation for that. I would like to... I, before I reread this, like if I do get a chance to reread this, I will definitely check that out. I'll take a screenshot, actually. No, I won't forget. There we go. Um, to do... Uh, I haven't ever taken characters like the granddad, but the problem for me was that they were overdone. And one-dimensional, flat, so they only was that nothing deeper and i think um, that's an issue that a lot of the characters had actually mm -hmm. is that they only had one trait mm -hmm. like some baby was only annoying uh john henry was only fatherly um mm. 
Brer Fox was only a sacrifice. Brer Rabbit was mm. only in wind up. <laughs> uh, so really, like the more the most dimensional character was Tristan. Then he was yeah. the. But even then, like I, I just as a narrator, I just, I still that yeah. was a disconnect. If this had been third person, I think I would have loved it. I really do. Um, became emotional a couple of times towards the end and wanted his deepness uh, to have been introduced sooner. Jade just said everything I just wrote. I, I, I do. I, I like you guys are making me want to like finish it. Like I really do. I just think like I just had so much on my plate that I just was not looking forward to picking it up. And then when I, as I was reading it. I wasn't in, having the best time. Like I just, yeah, the book was too long. Um, to be fair, like part of me thinks it's not long enough because it could have you done with a bit more fleshing out at the start. I think that... it was too long, and some mm. of the earlier conflicts that we had, like you said, there's a battle scene like 128 pages in. We yeah. don't need that that soon. We could have spent that time mm. developing some other things and then get to conflict mm -hmm. later. So Build that I could care about before yeah care yeah you need to care about the outcome of these battles because at that point yeah. you don't know enough or care enough to like have a preference on an outcome there yeah um no that's that was definitely my main issue i wasn't aware of the mythology but i didn't really struggle but i also tend to not think too hard when reading yeah i feel like maybe because i was also reading this for a book club i try to read a bit more into it more analytically yeah. And because of that, I wasn't, and even then I still didn't bloody finish it. I, I'll never let that go. I'm going to be kicking myself for the rest of my life. Don't worry. I will hold this over me. But um, yeah, it's unfortunate that we don't know more about the African uh, diaspora and the black myth legends folklore. The only one I was familiar with as a child was John Henry. Learned more as I got older. That's a very good point. Yeah. Um, a gray Merrill, that's where I got four star. I would have liked this to explode earlier. Um, audience, yeah, book, no, the book was not written to educate those of us who are not black. That's true. So I don't withhold stars because I didn't hold my hand. That's true. Um, personally, think that the reason Tristan is well developed in a sense is because he is a kid you're reading from his perspective. Now, yeah, which is why I really think this, like for me, would have benefited as a third person, um, so that I could see him from an outside perspective rather than. Mm -hmm. Uh, doesn't want to feel anything, which is why I think that moment at the end is so impactful. I need to read. I need to finish it. Uh, I wish I was in third person. Oh, that. Oh, that, that's probably why I like it more. It's probably why I like it more then, because yeah, you definitely get the sense that the world is opening up to you in a timely manner, rather than boom, here you go. Um, to do things kind of had an impact on how much vulnerability Tristan showed because he is very much about being a strong man, which is very like toxic masculinity and i love the the breaking down of that yeah. that's really good so he just isn't conforming to his granddad's old stereotypical uh, outdated way of what a man should be um so four for characters oh god i'm not am i that far behind oh my gosh uh if you want another book with john henry check out the black mage graphic novel i shall i, I did like john henry from what i read from them and uh, what about uncle is it uncle c yeah is he the villain? Yeah. I thought so. But I, I, I didn't get enough of him to, because he seemed like very manipulative. Like, I, I didn't trust him from the very beginning, really. You haven't um, read the end, so I don't know if you even want to be spoiled. I mean, I don't mind as long as nobody else minds. I don't, I don't mind. Um, so yeah. deal with Gil. You did meet Uncle C at the end, like, actually meet him properly. Mm, interesting. Uh, I think it's healthy to recognize why we may not be feeling yes, and then try to rectify that by learning more. That's very true. Um, Which is why I pulled out initially that you know it's important to recognize that the reason we don't think the world building is great is because we're not familiar with it. Exactly. Um, yeah. Very true. Uh, only like twist in that tiny little bit we got of Eddie. Um, so emotional when they reunited at the end. Oh my gosh, just wanted Eddie to. Oh, does he get reunited with Eddie at the end? Well, Eddie, Eddie is dead. So. Wait, does then just Tristan die? No. Who does he get reunited with? Eddie. 
Oh, is it like a kind of a spiritual thing? Like a ghostly thing? Oh, okay. A uh, relationship between Ayanna and Tristan is what saved the book for me. I didn't really get enough of Ayanna like so far from what I saw. Uh, yeah, no, I didn't really feel very strongly for her at all. Mm. Um, and do you know any British folktales mythology? Not really. I just know like yeah. Merlin, like the story of Merlin, and um, yeah. I'm I'm not re I'm not really a big mythology person. I always struggle. I even struggle with like adult retellings of Greek mythology, like um, the Song of Achilles. I loved, but that was because of the love story. But I couldn't understand anything else around the love story. Um, and same with like Circe. I haven't read Circe yet, but I'm scared to. Ariadne, I'm scared to. The mythology that I'm probably most familiar with at this point is definitely Slavic, and that's. Ah. The retellings and such like yeah. I still have read originals but otherwise like the sort of mythologies that we learn at school were always like greek and roman right yeah it was actually greek roman um e egyptian yeah. actually sometimes egyptian oh, a little bit of egyptian even like not norse which surprises me like norse mythology is such a popular thing but i don't think i've ever really been very familiar with that no me neither no, I think you're right. Those are the pretty much the only ones that we ever got taught at school. Yeah. Um, maybe if you weren't trying to rush it before the live show, you might have had a different opinion. But when I was trying to rush the deadline for, yeah. I mean, there is that, but also, like, I had all week to read it, really. Um, so, and I can read a book in a day. So I, I did have it, but then I, I could say the same about every middle grade monthly book then, because then I've always got a deadline to read them. And yeah but i don't know as booktubers we have a deadline for everything we read Completely that's true closed, but we always put deadlines on ourselves to read things always um, and polls yeah yeah vlogs vlogs are usually a big big thing like i had that read five middle grades in one week and that was also like a time constraint of, like trying to run but um but at the same time yeah uh, on Hornet, really wanted to read the series. I do still think I would like to give it a try. Although, say, it is one of the villains. I thought so. Um, I, I did like his introduction. I liked how he was rather manipulative, but also a little bit charming as well. But like, I could totally say right through him, but I kind of like that. Mm -hmm. um, Tristan feels like because he couldn't help his best friend, he has to fight and save everyone. Really felt for him. He felt in order to be strong. I just really want to, you know, I know you said you didn't want, but I just really want more time at the farm. I really did. Like, chapter three is too quick for us to be oh, getting yeah. thrust into this world. Like, it just about anything, even if it was to do with mythology, even if it was, wasn't. Like, chapter three, it's just too soon, too soon. Mm -hmm. um, at the same time, as a kid's book, it'll be great for it to serve double purpose, allowing black kids to see themselves and exposing other kids to myths they might not know. Yeah, I mean, I would still like recommend this to, to kids to read. Um, I mean, I'll have to finish it first because, but yeah, I totally get the importance of that. Um, wanted book too long to be two volumes, so the characters are, as interpreted by author, felt solid in history established. Tristan in introduced then move more solidly through story action. Yeah, yeah, that's what I would have loved as well. Um, just like a bit more establishment before. I just, yeah, I just felt like I was thrown into the DMM, but I totally recognize that's like my personal experience with this book rather than. Do, de do deadlines take the joy out of reading? I mean, not really. I think they can do sometimes. Yeah. But not most of the time i mean it is self-imposed we do we do it to ourselves we mm -hmm. force this force this pain upon ourselves but i do think sometimes like you really do have to rush through the ending of something to fit it in somewhere and it can be a little yeah. bit like well, it was a chore rather than enjoyment occasionally but not most of the time yeah like you do read a thon like a lot and you usually try and get through as many books as you can in one day and that never like impacts your enjoyment of them, really. No, you're right. It doesn't. You have fun. Sometimes it is fun to have the challenge. Like I like the challenge every yeah, now and then. I think more so. I mean, it doesn't take the joy out of the story, but can sometimes take the joy out of the experience of reading. Mm. 
yeah like sometimes even in Raidathon I'll be like right I've got two hours left and 200 pages left I need to focus and I'll like hurt myself by reading too much and too quickly and then the day after like my eyes will be ridiculously bloodshot and I'll be like shouldn't have done that should not have done that <laughs> regrets <laughs> regrets <laughs> um, more the joy of the process rather than regrets that's hilarious regrets <laughs> regrets jd regrets <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh i love that oh my god your name just fits well ray isn't like your actual name but like that just fits everything that just fits it so well Raidathon, regrets oh god i love it um just learned greek mythology in school never even knew my own country's mythology existed till a few years ago i still don't know yeah mythology is something that i'm just not really i don't really gravitate towards it um not even like british mythology which i don't even think there's i mean i could be wrong but yeah the only thing i know of is merlin and that's because it's been done to death in in um like movies and tv shows so uh, i haven't read this but this is um animal folklore of britain and ireland oh so not necessarily mythology but folklore folklore still yeah try not to force deadlines on myself but i know we all do for videos but for me it depends on the type of books i'm reading as to whether it will affect my enjoyment uh, like for middle grade as well like i usually do i can just read them so quickly and enjoy them whether i read them quickly or not i don't know maybe this is a wrong place and wrong time for me like for the book because yeah i just hella tired hella tired and i feel like it's unfair on the book if i gave it a rating so i'm not i'm not going to give it a rating i want to dn i have dnf for now and yeah. i would like to come back to it because i do want to read all the rick Ryden presents books but um and i'd love to read the second book still i just yeah, I need to be in a better place of mind to read it. And also, yeah, I might, I'll I'll do some like research on, ooh, what's that? A hedgehog. I've never really paid much attention to this book, but it's really cute. There's a hedgehog. That is a very cute hedgehog. That is beautiful. Uh, horrible if focusing on one book, I find myself reading the first few chapters and moving on to another book. Even if I love the book, any advice? What's that? Is that like a diet, like a Bambi? A diet? It's a whale. A w oh, okay. I was looking. <laughs> I, I thought I thought that was its neck. I thought that was its neck. Oh my gosh! It's actually a really cute book. I might read this to learn more about British um, folklore. folklore. Yeah, you should for the next readathon. Maybe that can that can be your theme. Make it animal theme. And then I also need to read my Russian one too. Yeah, you do. It's so big, but I feel like you'll just learn so much. Um, I, I'm looking forward to that one. As you should. So any advice on this? Horrible if focusing on one book, I find myself reading the first few chapters, moving on to another book. Um, horrible if trying to keep focus. Um, for me, sometimes an audiobook does help, which is why I wish I did have access to an audiobook for this. Um, yeah. So sometimes like having the audiobook on at the same time, because my mind wanders all the time. So having that noise in my ear reading the story while i'm reading the story i like my mind cannot wander um but i i'm it's very hard that one because if you're if you genuinely aren't feeling it and you're wondering like maybe you shouldn't be reading it like don't but force yourself comment there of even if i love the book maybe it's uh, not okay of, maybe it's not a case of you not being able to focus more so as you've got so many distractions around you maybe it could be an idea to take that book somewhere else where you don't have the option of being distracted by something else i take it to a coffee shop take yes, it to a park where yes. it's your only choice and then you might get more invested yeah that's a good show actually yeah remove the distractions from around you hmm. that is a good show Perhaps. Uh, want that to be in your video, Jade's DNFs, regrets. <laughs> Lady, <Honey>. Lady. <laughs> uh, I was reading two other middle creates along with this, and it just took so long to get into it, even though the chapters were short. Regrets can be a video series for you, books that you never want to read, mm. or books that you read and regret reading, regret reading. Oh, yeah, with her, that's exactly what you said. Books you wish you never read. Oh, I missed the yeah. wish part. I missed the wish part. Yeah. Sorry, yeah. Kari. I'm thinking. It's, 
I, I, I've been at work, okay? I've been at work. Books I wish uh, I had spent the time on. JD's regrets. Oh my god, I love it. That has to be like a, a monthly thing. But hopefully you don't read that many regrets. I was gonna you know? say I hope not. No, that's a lot of wasted time. I it really like my thoughts. One of my end of year videos, like 2021 regrets. Oh my god, you write you need to write this down, don't forget. Do not forget. Oh a hedge frog. A hedge frog. Uh, having the a, having the a book on a stand and doing something with my hands helps me focus. Oh, uh, audiobook and while reading, I I usually do that. That's the best way I can read all the time. Books that made you rage. Oh my god! Uh, yes, rage read. <laughs> rage. Oh, that's rage rage. But yeah. Rage. Oh, yeah, yeah, we get it. We get it. Oh my god! That all of these ideas. I mean, which all of the puns and we didn't even come here to discuss puns we but this is what we got this is the best thing to come from this live show oh my gosh read uh, take notes take notes we need to stop in um so I don't know where my yeah, get it or your phone and write them in your notes on your phone <laughs> rage, rage. Mm -hmm. rage. Right. Read. Oh my god! If anybody has any more suggestions, like my mind is going crazy right now. I'm trying to think of some. Um, uh, so was there anything else? I mean, as to be fair, it is very well written. Like, but I just feel like it's pacing. That like, pacing was my problem. Um, I'm just gonna fly through my core pile because obviously you didn't finish yeah, it. Pile Do it. So I'm just gonna fly through it. Um, it. characters, I gave it a three. We've touched on that a lot. Atmosphere, I gave it a five. I felt it, but I wasn't familiar enough with it, and that's probably more of a me problem. But it wasn't explored enough for me to feel that atmosphere. And again, with the casual narration, I felt like yeah. I didn't get a lot of the depth of atmosphere and feeling that I probably would have wanted. Um, writing, I gave it a six. I actually liked the writing style because I like that. I mean, comparing to Sebastian de Castell here, I like sassy narrators that break down that fourth wall. And we got that. But on the flip side of that, it was too casual. And again, we've already discussed that. It was too casual for what it was trying to do and therefore didn't get a lot of the emotion in it. Plot, I gave it a five. It just felt very average plot for me wasn't good nor bad um it just very in the middle of my i have yeah. lacking emotion on it so i don't feel like i can give it any more or any less than that than a slap bang in the middle five um intrigue i gave a two that's my lowest rating of the lot and again as i've already said i could have put this down at any point and not cared I wasn't interested enough. I was bored. I could have at any point shut the book and been like, nope, and not thought twice about it. So intrigue is ridiculously low. Logic, again, I gave a five. Um, it was very okay. Um, the thing that I liked most about Logic is what I've already said about Tristan, about how he's not a chosen one nothing comes easily to him he has to work for it he makes mistakes the logic of that makes a lot of sense his family life and those doubts and feelings he has makes a lot of sense on the flip side of that we've got he goes to the this mythological place and kind of just accepts it all and we don't explore it or get any sort of depth of emotion in terms of that um so again very bog standard five in the middle um, and enjoyment, I gave it a four because um, I did finish it. So it's got to be worth something for that. There were moments where I liked it, but things got old pretty quick. And um, most of the time I was bored. So that, that got four. Overall, 4.29, which brings it out at a two star for me. Fair. No, I mean, I totally agree from what I'd read so far. Um, I might have given uh, atmosphere a little bit higher, but that's because I didn't get to like just because I love the whole like bone ships and and all of that. But like, I didn't get to the point in the book where you got to where 
it w- it just kept kind of getting brought down by the narration and the casualness of it. Yeah. Um, so I only got I only got a taster of that. Whereas I think if I had a read on, my brain of that would have gotten lower. Um, but oh, did you rate this or keep us higher? I can't remember what you gave it. Um, they got exactly the same. Oh wow! Oh, exactly fancy that. Four point two nine. They both got four point two nine. Fancy that. Um. Yeah, I mean, God, I feel I, I I hate not having finished it. I really, really do, because like now I can't give my core pile. I can't explain everything. I can just say that I'm gonna try again. Just so, not yet. Dem's comment. What did you did you rate this or keep us higher or rather rate? <laughs> Books I rated five stars. That could be another great shout. Oh, I love it. I, I say, Jake, writing it all down. We've got rated. Th- oh my God. Why can't I have a cool name like yours? Ugh. Can, can people try and think of things for me, please, now? I'm feeling very left out. I want, I want cool things for my channel. in it. <laughs> Yeah, or like th- things that rhyme with Gavin, maybe. I don't know. Like, there's very little that you could do with Gavin or even Gav. Uh, so, yeah. Books I didn't gav a shit about. <laughs> no, I'm joking. <laughs> so stupid. I was thinking something like, I'm Gavin a blast, like something. <laughs> yeah, you were having a good time. You were Gavin a good time. Uh, well, I mean, we're kind of similar way of Um but yeah, I mean, it doesn't roll off the tongue much like um, rate, books I rated or rage read. And, oh, I'm changing my name, guys, to Gabri Reads. So I support it. <laughs> In honor of my middle grade queen. So my, my um, adopted partner in BookTube with the same name. Support. You you should support that. You should. Um, so yeah, I mean, I've got nothing nothing more to add, really. Books I so. gave up on. Oh, actually. <laughs> well, I mean, I did technically gave up on this, um, but again, I think I will return to this at some point. There's just like so many other required and presents because I'm so excited to read, like Race yeah. to the Sun. That looks so cool, and uh, the Storm Runner series sal and gabby break the universe i did actually love but it, like it let me down by the end of it and i'm so excited to read the sequel still no to be fair um so yeah there's still more that i want to read but i'm sorry i'm sorry tristan strong you deserve better than i than i gave you than i gave you <laughs> funny <laughs> we're always funny um funny. so yeah Gavalish books out are gavalicious. Mm. Uh, well, guys, I mean, I it's probably shorter than what we usually do, but that was essentially because I failed us all. Oh, race of the summer's good. I am honestly so excited to read it. That's by Rebecca Roanhorse, and I'm also oh, really excited it? to read Black. Yes, yeah, yeah. So I feel like you might we might enjoy that one a lot. Um, I, I loved I loved the banner in Sal and Gabby so much. Like character work in that one was a ten. I actually think I gave characters a ten in Sal and Gabby Break the Universe. I just ah. Oh, Is this bad. the one I, I seem to remember you moaning about that one? Did they not break the universe or something? They didn't actually. Yeah, Sal and Gabby. They didn't actually break oh, the universe. The thing. Okay. All of the titles are misleading. They didn't actually break the universe. Didn't mm-hmm. actually punch a hole in the sky. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I think that's why. Yeah, because I was saying before, like, I can't remember why I didn't end up enjoying it at the end. But that was why, because they didn't actually break the universe. Like, the whole concept of it just didn't fully, like, work or, like, by the end of it. But I love the characters so much. Um, Jade, will you be going back to Stefano's sprints? If Stephanie's sprints are still going, then I perhaps shall. I think you shall. Because I, th- I, think, I think she is, yeah. Um, but, yeah, I... I've got nothing more to add. Yeah. I just 
I feel bad and wish that I liked it more than I did because I was excited about it and I wanted to love it and I'm disappointed in myself. Yeah, we're all disappointed in ourselves because when we picked it as well, like we were so excited, so excited for even for like all of the books that we picked this year. I feel like both of us, like each one, we've been like, <gasps> just yeah, like each one we've just been so excited to like get to. Uh, but obviously, yeah, like, what are now um, most excited for us to get to? Steady for us. Yeah, yeah. I knew when I first saw the blurb for that book, I cried. Oh. Please don't but, cry in the live show. I don't know why. I don't even know if it's going to be an emotional read, but something about that book just makes me really emotional. I think it's because there's a gecko, and I yeah. have a gecko, and I'm just like, it's a little Maurice. Oh, ah. you're going to picture Maurice in that story now. That's Maurice's story. Yeah. So the the gecko had better survive till the end. I'll tell you. Otherwise, we will be. Oh, wrecked. I would be a mess. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Which is kind of why, actually, I, I kind of want the gecko to die now, so that you will be less on the live show. Yeah, but also, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, guys. Okay, that was a bit of a tangent. Don't forget, next month is Me and My Dad at the End of the yeah. Rainbow, which is fortunately one I already know I love with my whole heart. So there it is by Benjamin Dean. Don't forget, it will be on my channel. Um, and Jade is taking over July and August. And yes. then, yeah, so... Uh, sorry you didn't I enjoy this one a lot more yeah I feel like you're going to be a bit more lenient with it because you know it's not yeah I like that one as well I, yeah. feel, I feel you're going to be like really lenient um, just because you know wow. it's not your typical yeah. typical genre kind of thing um, so yeah Dem just keeps I... pulling out the puns yeah illustrated <laughs> oh that is amazing uh, Stop it, stop it now, because I'm getting jealous. <laughs> stop it now, I'm getting jealous. Uh, oh, Winter House, oh, I really enjoyed that book. I don't think Jade will love it, though, because Jade didn't like Green Glass House, and it's, like, similar-ish vibes. Not quite, um, but I don't think Jade's going to like it. Also this, yes. City of Rust is, yeah. It's a cage of one. It's a cage anyway guys we will let you go sorry i'm just funny on now uh thank you so much for tuning in can't wait to see you guys next month for me my dad and the end of rainbow we love you all goodbye everyone farewell